Hi everyone, just following on from the video we did last month of the white fur and looking closely at reference photos and explaining how I select my pencil colours. I'm going to do the same this month. Um, these are some of the photos that we're using over on Patreon this month for um, the black fur tutorial. We're actually using this German Shepherd, Black German Shepherd, this image was selected by my patrons, so that's the one we're going to be focusing on. Um, I've just pulled up a couple of others, uh, these are my own dogs here as well, just to show how different one dog can look under different lights. Uh, so I'll zoom in on each of them as well and just go through some of the colours that I would use from my um, Polychromos range as well. So if we start with, let's have a look, we'll start with this month's reference choice um, for Patreon. So this is our main subject for um, Patreon for this month. This is the one I'm going to be drawing for the tutorial. Um, start to finish, probably on a pastel matte paper and um, just in colour pencils, I think, at the moment. <laughs> OK, so... I'm going to zoom in. There is another photo of this one. If I just go forward one, there you go. So this is the same dog, just taken at a slightly different angle. So you can instantly see how different the um, the light reflection is on this. If you look at this one, it's very much warmer tones through here. Some beautiful uh, reds, violets and blues, very much on the outer edge and some mauve and different colours. I'll zoom in in a second. But if you flick forward to this one, this one's a much cooler. Um, much cooler blues. There is some of the red tones here on the back, but let's go back to our original one and let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we come in here. Let's come down first of all to some of those outer edges, those tones that I was saying about. And if you look here, we've got lovely hints. We've got Caput Mortem. We've actually got some brown ochre through there as well. We've got our Indanthrin blue, a touch of Prussian blue, um, our dark indigo, that Indanthrin blue again, more of the Caput Mortem. Um, yes, we've got our black and our darkest shadows, but again, we've got hints, tiny hints, even of burnt ochre in there with the brown ochre. Um, more of that dark indigo here. And we come across, we've got some of our warmer greys over here in the um, more central part. Um, Payne's grey, more of our dark indigo. And let's just drag this across. And then as we come to the outer edges again, we've got our dark indigo, some of our ochre in through here, some of our caput mortem mixed with that ochre. And then we've got cool greys here blending over the top of the dark indigo. There is a tinge, when I pull back out again, you'll see it. There is a tinge of like red purple almost around the outer edge. See the blues in through here as well again. So your dark indigo, your intanthrin blue. I want to try and limit the palette on this one as much as possible because it is a tutorial. You see you've got reflections here as well from the ground reflecting up into the dog itself. We've got reflections of the sky. So again, intanthrin blue. Again, I repeat, a lot of these colours, I use a core range of colours. Lots of cool grey here, cool grey two and three, um, hints of cool grey one, some warm grey here and Payne's grey, possibly a little touch of nougat through here as well, little touch of that ochre again, let me just zoom in a tiny bit more there, okay, so a little touch of burnt ochre just here, only little touches, let me zoom in again, let's have a look. See in there are lots of blues down here through the cheeks, blues here, hints of ochre here, dark indigo through the brow, lots of dark indigo undertones underneath all of these cool greys up over the brow here. And again, indanthrin blue, Prussian blue, um, dark indigo up around the outer edges of these ears. There is a little touch of mauve in there as well that I can see, but again, you guys will probably see, once you start looking and zooming in, you might see slightly different colours to what I see. There's no right or wrong, it's your interpretation of the palette. So let's go on to the other version of this one now. 
So this one is, I'd say, much more black and white, but let's zoom in again. It's much cooler shades, much definitely sharper on the dark tones. But as you start to come in, we've actually almost got some golden tones through here. You have to be very careful if you're using any sort of yellowy tan colours amongst um, black pencils because black and yellow make a green. So you just want to be really careful of your colour placement and your blending and mixing. I'd much more go for like a warm grey four or five to get that what I call a dirty grey in through here rather than going for your yellow tones. Same as the previous picture, you see your blues coming up through here. Especially lovely, beautiful endanthrum blue up over the top of this brow here as well. Um, in through here. Let's have a look through here. I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit more. Nice hint. So I'd go for a mix of touches of dark indigo, but there's Payne's grey. There's also a warm grey 5, I'd say, in there as well. And then as you come down here, you've got your cooler greys, so your cool grey 1. Your very brightest highlights, you can go in with a white at the end if you want to really enhance it. Lots of soft blending here as well. This will be a mix of a very light touch of dark indigo mixed with a warm grey 2 or 3. Um, and then possibly a warm grey one just up on the real light areas. And then we've got down through here, we've got little hints of Kaput Mortem. Um, more Kaput Mortem touches through here. More dark indigo through here with the Kaput Mortem. I wouldn't see if there's any Kaput Mortem Violet. Kaput Mortem Violet is a much, possibly a couple of touches here. But your Kaput Mortem is very warm, whereas your Kaput Mortem Violet is... Um, much cooler it's got those bluish undertones in so let's look at another couple of dogs now now i'm going to flick right past this one okay so this one here and the previous one are both of one of my dogs this is Bo. he's quite an old boy but if you see here i haven't enhanced the photos these are taken this is taken on the beach um quite late sunshine um, in an evening, so you see all those reddish tones that could put Mortem that we were saying about before coming through here. Absolutely beautiful. And you can even bring in some more of your ochres as well. Um, hints of your blues and some of your mauve tones just coming out into the curls. Lots of your little ochres going through there. And again, you'll be warm using most of your warm. Um, warm greys for your highlights through here and your nougat but over here look at the beautiful blues catching up on here some of that mauve some of the kaput mortem some actually stunning colours in through this piece and it would be nice let's say just even cu cutting in doing a crop of the actual image um, come out again. So if I move now onto this picture, this picture was just taken normal daylight, probably middle of the day. Again, it's not been enhanced, but if you look at the difference in tone between all the reds in this one and all the blues in this, I mean, if you want to go into a um, photo editing package, you could pull out all the reds if you wanted to. You could enhance those, you can enhance the blues, you could take the colour down so it's more black, white and grey if you prefer to. Some people portray dogs, black dogs, just in monotone so just blacks whites and greys which is fine but I just think adding that colour into the underpainting gives all of that extra depth so if you see here look at the you've got the brown ochre again through here you could put Morton through here your dark indigo your endanthrin blue your prussian blue got a mix here of warm greys warm grey such as of cool grey over the top of your dark indigo. Touch that ochre coming all the way around here, even here. Little touches within the fur over here as well. Quite a few. I'd like say I'd even possibly go in for you've got your new girl, which is your you can as your mixer, but I'd almost go in there with like a Van Dyke brown, a slightly darker brown, and then up here again on the outer edges you see 
you've got your kaput mortar mixed with one of your warm greys again then your dark indigo and that indanthrin blue in through here as well um, like I say just completely different tones to what we saw in the previous photo so I'll go back one more another of my dogs this is Bella this photo again it's not really edited I've just cropped it in um, adjusted the contrast a tiny bit but if you look here she is a perfect example this dog she lived outside for eight years um, in Romania that's where I found her chained up so she'd been actually baked in the Sun and that's what you'll find you'll find a lot of dogs especially with black fur that have been in a lot of sunlight will have this reddish tone going through her fur which is also a nightmare I won't let me groom her very often so I have to try and sneak up on her and pull some out so this is like old fur here this little chunk here but again kaput mortem dark indigo the same colors again you're in dantherin blue Prussian blue all mixing through here um, it even touches of like a dark turquoise up through here as well we just zoom in a tiny bit but she is a prime example of super shiny black fur that holds both the red tones and the blue tones sometimes you only see in here as well as only touches of the green tones like a pine green as well but say so most black dogs have either got the reddish tinge or the black tinge um, or the blue tinge sorry and you might have some green tinge reflected up underneath as well depending on their environment it's got warm tones down through here as well so hopefully like I say that's helped just looking more closely at a couple of examples of black fur this one I've just pulled out because there's no real obvious blue and red tones so I just wanted to have a quick look once you start to zoom in then you can start to see them you see here little hints of the kaput mortem um, and around here under that lip there is some very tiny touches of dark indigo here little touches of kaput mortem there on the brow and down here coming away from the eye warm greys kaput mortem here underneath the eye as well little touches of blue because they call this like a blue rowan as well this effect of the, the type of fur so there is actually some if you look really closely there is actually some dark indigo in some of these curls here hopefully you can see that little touches so it is it's all about forgetting that it's dog fur forgetting that what it is completely just going in and looking at the shapes and the shadows the values so you pick out your colors you pick out your shapes of your shadows um, your highlights, especially if you're working on pastel like that, those can go in much later on. But it's just looking really closely at all of these colours and getting your pencils ready before you even start. You can pull out a good range of your colours before you start. So you've got your warm greys here, your cool greys, yep, your black and your white. You don't have to use black if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to use white, you can just build up with your, your cool greys. Um, and build up your dark areas You're using your dark indigo you could put Morton could put Morton violet um, all of your dark tones but you can see as soon as you zoom in how much little touches of cinnamon through here as well you can just see those colors are there in that fur even if from this view you can't see it so much but now that I have zoomed out I can see some of those lovely pinks and reds and some of the blues going through there so I hope that that has helped just to um, look closer at those photos and if you want to follow along with my black fur tutorial like I say this is the one that we're we're drawing this month by popular choice by my patrons so there will be a full step-by-step -step video tutorial um, probably in several parts um, over on my patreon and of course I will be doing a written tutorial as well which will be on general release once it's gone out to my patrons okay thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video and learned something from it please do subscribe for future videos and also please click the thumbs up button below and any questions please pop them in the comments below too thank you very much for watching